Okay, let's take a, a look at the weekly pack quickly. I know I always say quickly and it ends up being like 20 minutes long, but <laughs> quickly this time. Because we already know all the units and what they do and all the synergies between them, I suppose. Tier 1, Iguana, Horse, Mosquito, Field Dragon, Cockroach, Duck, Chinchilla, Seahorse, Marmoset, Cricket. Decent stats. We've got a Chinchilla, which is always nice. No Bison for the level 3 Chinchilla strats. Mosquito to kill off the horse. Cricket horse. Pretty fun to play. Looks like the horse will be decent because that's a spider, that's a stork, that's pills as well. Sheep, dog, kangaroo, all go well with the summons. So the horse should be a pretty decent pickup. If there was no mosquito and no iguana as well, iguana will definitely count some of these. Looks like there's even pineapple if you wanna make sure the your iguana completely counters the horse summon teams. Ah, it's okay. You've got meat bounties in your weak summons as well. Seahorse. Eh, kill dragon, shoot water pretty well. You go for horse cricket, you take a, uh, take a field dragon, then you go for some more faint stuff. Should be a pretty good thing to go for it for the early rounds. In tier 2, we've got Dodo, Rat, Frigate Bird, Yak. Okay. In, in my mind, for some reason, Yak and Frigate Bird synergize, but definitely not the case. Just because Yak keeps raining himself. This works with hurt and gives HP. Hmm, would have been cool if they did. Peacock, Frigate Bird. Now that's one that works. Flamingo, Crab, Spider, Stork, Shrimp. And uh, Meat Bone, Fried Shrimp, Pill. We've got Flamingo, should definitely be one of the best heal tools once again. With Pill, it is absolutely a must take. Fried Shrimp. I guess you can even use it on the summons. You've got a Dodo, but no Crossa, no Apple. That's Flight Shrimp, I guess. Even a mouse would have been nice for the two gold apple for the Dodo. But, looks like there's a giraffe, so Dodo should be okay. Let's jump on uh, Teal Fee. Bear, Snail, Copy, Camel, Sheep, Kangaroo, Dolphin, Dog, Hatching Chick, Giraffe. Honestly, all of these are pretty good for mid game. Maybe the snail, just because you. It's never. Uh... Never guaranteed for you to lose a fight and then get a snail, but level ups are looking uh, decent on round 3, I suppose. There's Rat, Bear, but not no artwork, unfortunately. Kangaroo, pretty good for mid game, no Ox in this. Would have been nice with Flight Shrimp. I guess this dog can use it with the summons, Hatching Chick with Garlic. A big unit with Garlic, stats from the Hatching Chick, Hatching Chick, Camel, Garlic. That's gonna be annoying, especially if you're gonna go for the summons, which a lot of people will. I guess you've got meat bone to count, garlic, but still. HP, garlic, camel. Should cover some of those. Hatching check is unfortunately a bit of a mistake now. The stats are just too good. And pineapple, which only works with, only works with iguana for now. I guess we forgot the Iguana Seahorse as well, completely forgot about that one. Probably kills horse in the back, unfortunately. Lollipop, which looks like it's not gonna do too much. No wasp, no salamander, but I guess we'll see. And got like very strong as always. Oh, never mind, there is a bison. Wait, did they change these? Oh no man, sometimes the bison is like towards the end of the list, sometimes it's in the middle, sometimes in the beginning, and they are definitely not in alphabetical order. Well, tier 4, Bison, Rooster, Dragonfly, Goddammit, Hippo, Mole, Mantis, Doberman, Donkey, Parrot, Penguin. Well, I was a bit blind, I didn't see the Bison, but Chinchilla, easy level 3, very cheap level 3, any tier 1 is pretty easy to get to level 3, if you get a good opportunity to get a quick level 2 then you can definitely push for a level 3 tier 1, then you can just go Bison, Dragonfly. If you go for a Dodo, you've got the Rooster to pretty much kill you, Hippo, Garlic, I guess you can use Giraffe or Hatching Check behind the Hippo, should not be should be pretty good, I suppose, with the amount of summons in the early teams. Depends on what we've got in the later teams as well. Mole, buy and sell, nothing too interesting. Mantis, nothing too incredible to kill. Spider, Stork, I guess you've got Mammoth here, but eh, no blob, unfortunately. 
no shard, but there's a spinal, so I guess a mantis can work if you want to go that way. Doberman, depends on what high tiliums we've got. Donkey, not bad. I honestly think Donkey is going to be amazing once we get the new units as well, because there are so many new strong units that sit in the back, Donkey will just take care of them. Push the last enemy to the front, pretty powerful um, ability. Pretty good stats for the tier 4 as well. Parrot, I think too incredible it will work with. No deal, I guess there's a dolphin, but it's pretty terrible. <laughs> Not amazing. Penguin, even more stats for your tier 1 level 3 stuff. Oh well, cheese, canned food, grapes, not amazing, tier, food, tier 4 food is a bit underwhelming, I can't wait for the new golden pack food, if you can have banana, donut, stuff like that, should be interesting, but for now, cheese, bootleg steak, but definitely has more potential than steak, steak has a hard cap, right, on 20 attack, this can hit for 50 attack, basically, but yeah, it's nice if you use this with 35, uh, attack unit you can kill a 70 hp unit 50 plus 20 from the melon so cheese definitely has its uses i definitely used cheese successfully on uh on a couple of rounds can food eh no squirrel grapes not too appealing unfortunately tier 5 we've got cow polar bear scorpion husky fox okay we've got a fox and a cow monkey vulture Hyena, Swordfish, Turkey, ooh, Vulture and Turkey for our summon builds. No Eagle, I suppose there's an Orca and a Tapir and even a Tiger if you want to go that way. A 1-up. No Lynx, no Croc, I guess there's a Leopard, Dodo Leopard. No Hawk, no Woodpecker either, I guess. Low amount of Snipes, good amount of Summons, Turkey, Vulture, 1-ups. Looking good, I guess there's a snake and the and the garlic is gonna make big units a bit annoying for you to summons, but lemon definitely uh, is much stronger than garlic. So uh, I guess the summon team should be okay. There's no way to apply weakness this week. So I guess we don't have to think about weakness while summon stuff. Chili can counter the scorpion, scorpion one up as well. Sushi, some stats, good food for the fox to steal, I suppose, but there's no worm, no seal, carrot. Mm. Mm, okay, like the polar bear, you can get a uh, 27 polar bear, then you can start buffing the rooster, that's perfect, or just any unit that you know you're gonna keep, but I like, really love the new polar bear, I think it's um, a pretty good spot now. Husky, that's good equipment. I don't think it's gonna be amazing. Monkey, always strong basically. Just mines and teams, whatever, you get a monkey as well. Vulture and Talki. They've got okay summons to work with, but. Mm. There's no chocolate, so there's no easy way to get Turkey and Vulture to higher levels, right? These teams do need level ups, not stats just cram as many uh, as many faint uh, abilities as possible and as many um, summons right you've got sheep with three faints in one with with one up that could be uh, six faints in one i suppose again not too many snipes to carry them swordfish i guess technically well nah they've got low stats but i guess they will get plus one plus ones when you combine for level ups but mm. There's also Tiger Swordfish Leopard. But just Tiger Swordfish anything in front of the Swordfish, because then the Tiger works with that. Probably Rooster, that would be amazing. <laughs> but just Tiger Swordfish Snake, that should be amazing. Lack of Snipes, might as well go Tiger Snake, especially behind Bison, should make the team even stronger. 50 50 stats with double Snipes every shot, just kind of stomps everything. You know? mm, I guess it's gonna count like these teams and maybe a Spino team, but shouldn't be amazing. Let's see, tier 6, looking pretty strong. Leopard, Orca, Tiger, Tapir, Hammer Shark, Snake, Wolver, Spino, White Tiger, Mammoth. Well, pretty strong stuff. You've got this with Dodo, Orca for the summon stuff, Tiger. 
works well for anything. Can use it with a vulture, can use it with an orphan as well. Probably not gonna do that. Can use it with a turret, can use it with a leopard, can use it with anything. Helps almost any type of build. Tapir. Tapir one up. You get an orca. I guess. We've got Scorpion Tapir one up in the in the pack. The Exodia build, I suppose. Again, with not too many snipes, then this should be pretty decent. I can still smell it, but that's why I use one of stuff like that. You can easily counter melons with the Scorpion Tapir build with one ups, of course. Ammo Shark. Even more stuff for the level 3 build. Tiger Snake. Incredibly powerful. Will break melons, will kill back lines. Pretty good combo. Wolves. Wolves one up for the summon team. Yep, pretty good. I guess there's melon, so maybe uh, the poison will uh, sometimes miss, I suppose, but should be pretty good. We go for the summon team that lacks attack. Spinal, Spinal, Mantis, Mammoth one up, some summons. So that's pretty good. Unfortunately, um, I guess you can just go for a turkey or a vulture team with some faint stuff, throw a spino in, and then maybe you can stand the chance to the big bison teams. The roosters are gonna be annoying as well. They kill, um, the rooster with the chicks kill a lot of summons. Well, depends on how many chicks you have, of course. And one up snake melon. Pretty good. Mushroom for the faint stuff, snake for weak backlines, so they can go in front, god damn it, that's gonna make level 3 bison with like weak dragonfly in the back, just throw a snake on it and there you go, now it's not really dragging you down anymore, and melon, just for the caddies I suppose, this, this, well there you go, that's the weekly pack, I know I've said this a million times, but hopefully the last one before the new pack, god damn it, We've been getting so many new um, patches for the test build. Hopefully, it's still gonna. Hopefully, it just doesn't mean that the patch is still a long way ahead for the live version. But hey, this week should be pretty fun, honestly. Hopefully, the bison is not too dominant once again. This weekly is definitely gonna be a bit sweaty. What about the Doberman? Can it work? Well, I think we've got Tiger Dobbing Run. Yeah, that's good stuff for tier 5 and tier 6. Decent stuff. You get a monkey, that's for sure. You've got 1, 2, 3, 4 units that you can use. Then you can just throw a mammoth in front, and the coconut should be pretty good to go up against the bison stuff. And that's that. Now we just need to test it out. <laughs> 